How's it going my YouTube gamers? This is ITK Zombie and today I'm bringing you a how-to video on opening the Xbox Live ports on your router. Now this video will focus primarily on a Linksys router, but the information given in this video will work for Netgear, D-Link, Belkin, any other brand routers. You'll just need the IP address and the default username and password unless you've changed it, which can be found easily on the manufacturer's website. Now to get started, what you want to do is open up your favorite web browser and in the address bar type in the IP address of your router. For Linksys routers, it is 192.168.1.1. Once that's open, you will normally get a little box that comes up. The reason I didn't is I've already signed in once before starting this video, but it will ask for the username and password. Now by default for Linksys, the username is left blank, the password is admin. And once you get up to this screen, what you want to do is click Applications and Gaming, and then click Port Range Forwarding. Now, as you can tell, I've already done this for my router to help in my gaming experience, but what I've done is there's four main ports for Xbox Live. I just named them Xbox 1, 2, 3, and 4, and the ports are as follows. 88, and the protocol is UDP, and then you want to put in the IP address of your Xbox, and then check the Enabled box. The next port is 3074. The protocol is both. It is both UDP and TCP. Enable it. The third port is port 53. And again, it is both UDP and TCP. And finally, the last port is port 80. And it is only TCP protocol. Now, there's one other port that you could open. If you're having any problems with Video Connect, as Video Chat, or any problems with the Connect in general, you need to open up port 1863, and that is both UDP and TCP. If you open up that, that will usually clear up any connect problems that you're having. I don't have a connect, so that's the reason I'm not opening it on my router. Now, after doing all this, you want to click Save Settings. A little screen will come up that says Settings are successful. Excuse me. And then you're finished. Now, guys, I hope this will help in your gaming experience and hopefully it'll make it more enjoyable if you're experiencing problems in lag or just a bad internet connection in general. But guys, this is ITK Zombie and I will see y'all next time. 